everybody, this is Nick G from Global Currency Reset.net. I'm just doing an update for May 24, 2014. We're getting a lot of new visitors uh, who are searching the other dinar sites. If you go on Google and let's say you're searching for TNT Tony, you probably got to the site. Watch. So I just searched for TNT Tony. You can see it brings up its Twitter page, uh, his main website, and then there's our site right there so if we click that it's gonna go ahead and open up this article review here I did and some of you haven't seen this because it's been updated recently so here's what I've put on here I put on a recent video that he's done well maybe it's not too recent but it's a video where he's talking about uh, different opportunities for people um, I posted this audio this is directly from one of his broadcast where he's talking about how he works for Sterling which is one of the dinar companies out there and if you go down here again this is just another video that I posted recently uh, regarding his call when he was talking about different things regarding the dinar such as the fact that they were not using that in Iraq which is actually not true if you have any people that you personally know who are in the uh, United States Army or Marines you could probably call them up talk to them if they're over in Iraq or Afghanistan for that matter and you can ask them hey are you guys still using the dinar and they'll say well they are using the dinar however they prefer to use the dollar just because the dollar is a stronger currency and because mainly through inflation because inflation is extremely high in Iraq right now inflation has pretty much destroyed the value of the dinar so yes they are still using the dinar in Iraq regardless of what Tony says you can find people and I hope some of you guys are doing what I'm doing you're actually doing research because if you can you know you have Skype call one of your buddies who are in the army record it through Skype ask them and then post that on the video in fact if you do that I'll actually post it on my site if you've actually called somebody up but that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do real research um, I was over here looking at different archives on the, the Dinar Guru site and you can see some of these postings here from 2011 where it talks about Tony says that the rate went live yesterday of course the date on this post is December 31st 2011 now if any of you are doubting my information here's what you need to do copy a portion of the text in my document and then just search Google for the text and you'll see where it brings it up you see how it, it, it bolded this text here because it matched what I posted all these sites have the exact same information so let's go ahead and click this right here it's gonna bring us to the dinar guru archives and all you have to do is just go into find you're gonna paste that thing that you just searched for oh I'm sorry let me go back to this copy uh, let's see if this works yeah there it is right there found it so December 31st 2011 as you can see from up here this is the Dunar Guru website so this was a post that Tony made speaking about the rate going live and you can actually backtrack on this and just type in Dunar Guru archive I'll show you so there we are Dunar Guru archive and you can see all the different dates here if we wanted to we could just go here to uh, 2012 scroll down a little bit and just look for anything that says uh, Tony and you can find one of the postings that he's done I'm just doing this randomly just to show you so let's just go ahead and find one from Tony or it may be easy to just search for it oh he's not on this one interesting let's just go back then find another one you can see I'm doing this on the fly I think there was a time period where he was not on PTR and before he got onto block talk so maybe that could be why there's nothing posted so let's go ahead and search this one and see if anything comes up for Tony there there we go okay what's the date on that September 13, 2012. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, so there you go. That's how you do the research. I know what the target dates were. September 1st, okay. This is way before I even joined. I didn't even really get into this whole dinar thing until December of 2013. So have it's been a little little bit close to half of a half of a year at this point. But, you know, when I started listening to Tony, I believed it. I believed what he was saying was true. And then I started to have my doubts, especially after he was talking about the different rates and what we were supposed to get. So that's going to be on my homepage. You'll see the new link here. It'll say update on TNT Tony. And when you click that, it's going to bring you to this link here. This is just my posting from today because I have this on a page. When you have WordPress, you have pages and posts. And the posts will all be on the home page. The pages will all be in the links on the side here. These are all the posts. Okay? Posts, pages. And there's a site map here to help you find your way around. But I'm planning on redesigning the site just to use a different template because, as you can see, this is not really good for mobile phone users. Okay, the other article that I posted is on Oki. So if you click this, it's going to open up the uh, thing that says updated article on Oki click this link right here and it's going to bring you to this new review I did about Oki and I pretty much did the exact same thing here um, I was posting different dates for things that Oki had mentioned um, like here's here's one where he says it's going to be tomorrow or Wednesday and of course this was back on January 2nd of 2012 so again just highlight this post that I have here and you can do it this way also you could copy and then you bring it into the Google search and just paste it in here. And you're going to see the exact link I got it from. There it is right there. Dinar Guru Archive 6. So if we paste that in there, and then you can just search for the text. And it should come up. There it is. So there you go. That is how you do research into who's telling the truth or not. Now, I don't know who Oki is. I haven't seen any video of him. He doesn't do what I do, apparently, where he actually will put his voice online. I don't know anything about him. Either he's lying or someone's lying to him, and he's gullible, and he's just believing everything he, they're telling him. But all, it doesn't really take much to figure out that most of these guys aren't really telling the the truth like I am at least what I'm trying to do is is prove that a lot of this is not really happening so we're on the Dinar Guru site live this is for today you can see the 24th it matches the date here on the computer and you can see Tony is still giving his updates um, Adam Montana I don't really follow any of these guys really I just I mean I follow them to a degree where if somebody posts on my YouTube or Facebook channel that I'm wrong that that it's going to happen then well I have to respond to them and here's another person Mountain Goat and I don't really know much about Mountain Goat except that there's posts all the way back to 2011 that talk about the revaluation the reset about to happen and it didn't happen so even Mountain Goat is somebody that a lot of people trust so I'll have to probably do an expose on Mountain Goat next because I'm getting a lot of people who are telling me that I'm wrong look at what Mountain Goat said back in September well, back in September, Mountain Goat said it was going to happen in December. And in December, said it, it, it couldn't happen till after the new, the new Year. And, well, the New Year's here and nothing's happened. So everyone's been saying the same thing. Um, some people have were even doubting that Maliki was going to get his get reelected. And, of course, Maliki did get reelected. So, look, I don't know who you guys want to believe. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe them. I want you guys to do your own research. Start your own website. Do what I'm doing. Um, again, there is a new book that just came out, and we have the PDF for it. It's called The Big Reset, and some of you have read it. Some of you haven't. So I put two links here. Uh, there's a link here. It'll say PDF, or you can just scroll down a little more, and there's another link for PDF. And if you still didn't see that, then there's another link for PDF. And if you don't know how to open a PDF, you download this program called Adobe Reader, which is here on this page. I already provide the link for it. And you can just download Adobe Reader. You do not need this, so unclick that. You do not need to install any software for virus scans. So make sure you de-click that and then just click Install, and it'll install Adobe Reader. And once you have Adobe Reader installed, you can open up this nice PDF, which I provided for the big reset so this is a great book I own the book 
and you should definitely get it. In fact, uh, there's links to it directly on Amazon. So if you click this, it's going to open up into Amazon. And you, there's proof right there that I own this book. And you guys should definitely get it. Okay, it's really cheap. It's only 16 bucks. It ships out for free uh, if you at, order at least $35 on Amazon. And this is a book you want to get. In fact, there's a whole bunch of other books that I recommend you get in addition to this one. Um, there's The Death of Money, which just came out, Code Red, and The Money Bowl. These are excellent books. The Death of Money is another one I just picked up um, on April 2nd. Uh, the book actually came out on April 8th, so I actually pre-ordered it. That's how high of, of, of a rating I will give this book is that I, you know, did some research on it. You can see it's ranked number one, number one, number two. It's a very, very, very popular book right now. You can see the reviews from customers that really, really like it. So this is another book. I don't have a PDF for this one because I purchased the hardcover edition. But let me just tell you, you really want to know about this. It's talking about the coming collapse of our monetary system. Now, again, for you guys who, who don't know what my stance is on the um, global reset, uh, here's what I think is going to happen. I think the first thing that is going to happen is we're going to have a collapse, meaning the dollar may be devalued, meaning there may be an issue with us repaying our debt. It could have something to do with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates. So many things could happen before the reset. I don't think there's just going to be a straight up reset. I think what might happen is the dollar will be devalued and when that happens, all the other currencies who are tied to the dollar, and there's a lot of them out there, are going to be forced to figure something out. And I think that's how the reset's going to actually happen. Um, I don't, or there's another possibility where the reset could cause the collapse of the dollar. And then that's the other thing you guys have to think of is, if the reset causes the collapse of the dollar, then you're going to have to be in another currency. Now, you, you should probably be in gold and silver. That's what I highly recommend. You, you get into gold and silver, and you don't really waste your time, you know, just buying dinar. I mean, sure, if you want to own some dinar, it's a very speculative investment. You can own dinar. But what I suggest you do is you look into buying some gold, buying some silver. Um, I put a little link here for an Amazon.com store where you could just, you see there's, you can buy silver here. Um, you can buy Iraqi dinar. You could buy some some of those books that I had previously mentioned to you. You could buy, you know, Vietnamese dong. It doesn't matter. And one more thing, you guys, make sure you know, you do not get involved with these scams that are out there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you one of the scams that's really big right now. Um, it's called Dinar Options. So if you just type in um, Dinar Options on eBay, you'll see these guys that are selling um, Dinar Options. And some of you have already done this. And it's really, it's really bad that you did because you got scammed. Um, you can go ahead and see this seller right here uh, in Kevin Mo, so you can see other items. And if you look what this guy's doing, he's just selling dinar options. Now he's selling 10 million options. Now anybody knows right now how much uh, 10 million dinars actually cost. I mean, it's very simple to just go to xe.com. Let's go ahead and do that right now, and let's go ahead and switch the currencies up. I'm going to show you how you can do this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and convert 10 million dinar to U.S. dollars. There's 10 million dinar. So let's see how much that's worth. Okay, 8,586 U.S. dollars. Now, if we go back to this guy, you can see how much he's got posted. Now, these options, I think, are for, I think he says they're for 90 days. Let me just see, because I just, I just want to make sure you guys don't get involved with these. Okay, let's see what it says. Yeah, in order to exercise those rights, the Iraqi government must revalue their, their currency. He doesn't even spell there, right? He spells it there. <laughs> and recognize for international trade. Now, look at, look at what he's saying here. If the RV takes place during the 90-day term, and there are no guarantees that the RV will take place, it's currently being sold as a collectible. Kevin Moss, right, okay. I actually contacted this guy, and I, I asked him, and I asked another person. I said, how come you don't sell physical dinar? And they said, oh, we used to. We just sell this now. But he doesn't really have much of a feedback rating. 
and if you click his rating you can actually see the other items that this guy has sold and if you look the only items he's really sold are dinar options look at this so he's selling eight thousand dollars worth of dinar on every single one of these days and they're for 90 days so he has eight thousand times how many one two three four five six seven eight nine do you really think this guy has this seriously do you really think he has this amount of dinar i don't he's totally lying and when i contacted him and i asked him in fact let me see if i can actually maybe i can actually bring up my messages that i sent to him I think that would be good as proof that I'm actually doing some research and contacting these people. There was another dude also I contacted. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see what he says. Ah, oh, this is the other guy. Look what he says. I have a lot more than $80,000 worth of dinar, but I would have to disagree with you about the new printing of money, there being no RV. Then he says, where are you getting this info? Because my sources have mentioned nothing like this to me. I wonder who his sources are. All I know is he's in Florida, and I know that's where a lot of these dinar companies are. Um, here's that other guy I just mentioned, Kevimos, and he was the one that I asked about it. And I said to him, hi, do you sell physical dinar? If not, why? And here's what he said to me. He says, I have, have, in the past, two friends and family, but at this present time, I am not selling any dinar. Ooh, wonder why. Maybe you don't have any. I have to make sure I have enough on hand to cover all the contracts in the event of an RV. And I think I sent him another message that he hasn't responded to. Let me see. Okay, let's see. I said, so if you don't sell, where did you get it? Where should I buy it if I want to hold in my hands and are you a licensed dealer? And he hasn't responded to that because he doesn't have any physical dinar. At least he doesn't have the $8,000 times whatever, 40, 40 different transactions. So again, avoid dinar options, okay? So, all right, we've covered today uh, the, the new updated page. I'm going to go ahead and refresh it because I just added these posts and they haven't even shown up yet. Okay, there they are. So there it is, the updated link for Tony and for Oki. So make sure you guys check those out. Um, and then make sure you download the free PDF. Uh, if you want to look for a safe place to buy currency, I've, I've purchased from Amazon. I've had no problems. In fact, it's very competitive. So you get much better deals than you would with some other companies. Uh, you could try eBay, but I just don't want you guys to get scammed. So again, you can buy the currency just by clicking this button. It'll take you right to that Amazon page. Um, and honestly, I recommend silver even over dinar at this point because um, silver has is, is just extremely low right now. But you guys are adults. Please make your own decisions. Please make wise decisions. You can comment below in this video if you have um, any questions about those article posts I made regarding a Tony or regarding Oki. Uh, if you know these people personally, then you probably know that they've been posting uh, pretty much the same information for the last several years. But if you are Tony and you are Oki and you are listening to this call right now, you are listening to this video, then what I suggest you do is you respond to this video directly. Tell me that you actually have real sources because I know you guys don't because if you had real sources, then you wouldn't be posting the same information week on, week out that it's going to happen next week or it's going to happen before this day or it has to happen before the end of the month or it has to happen before the elections or it should happen after the elections. You guys are very consistent with your lies. So, okay, there we go. I think that's enough. I think it covered enough uh, today. So, again, comment below on this video. Um, I'm going to be posting probably a link to this video uh, on one of my new article postings because I told you I have to do one on, on Mountain Goat but listen I've got you know I've got probably about 30 other websites I have to work on so this is just one of them but I just want you guys to know this is my stance on those guys that I think they're lying I and, and if they think they're telling the truth then they're getting wrong information and if you think they're telling the truth then I highly suggest that you do your own research you don't have to rely on me and my website I'm just posting the research that I've done. I'm just posting the things that I believe in, okay? All right, I hope everybody has a great day, have a great weekend, and comment below 